Republican lawmakers on Tuesday rolled out their plan to spend $3 billion in COVID stimulus funds. We are offering a very good, comprehensive plan that we hope Governor Evers will work with us on. That plan includes a 10% property tax rebate check for Wisconsinites. But the announcement came 24 hours after Governor Tony Evers had rolled out a spending plan of his own. I'm excited today to announce our plan to spend more than $3 billion. In terms of priorities, the two plans look similar. Both call for major investments to help businesses recover from the pandemic. Both invest in the tourism industry and both increase funding for high-speed broadband. So is there anything that the governor said that you object to? Well, uh, we don't have any details to object to. But while Voss criticized the governor's plan for lacking in details, the real dispute involved who gets to decide. On Monday, Evers vetoed a GOP bill that would have given the Republican-led legislature control over spending that COVID money, saying the Republicans have failed to act throughout the pandemic. At the state level, we were, we were pushed back every step of the way. Time and time again, we faced roadblocks in responding to the pan pandemic. But Voss says he'll keep pushing to ensure the governor doesn't get to make the $3 billion decision without Republicans. If he just says it doesn't matter what the legislature does, I'm going to be dictator, I'm going to be king, I'm going to spend the money with no oversight and do it myself, we might have to look at legal options. But that's not our first option. That's not what I want to do. Kent, the Republican plan would have to go through the legislative process. How soon could that happen? Well, Voss says they'll roll out these uh, this plan in a series of bills that could go to committee quickly and could be taken up by the legislature by the middle of next month. But the governor certainly will have a lot to say about it. Ken Wayne Scott reporting live in Milwaukee tonight.